Hi friends, welcome to my channel Gokur and Decore. Video entertaining program for ISO 27001 2022. So we are going to see the examination preparations so for the leader training program. So we are going to discuss about examination tips and tricks before going to in depth of the examination. So first we need to uh, set our uh, uh, basic like you know how we can able to prepare for this examination. So in this uh, full and full videos we are going to see the preparation activity and then enrollment activity. So how you can able to approach to the agency so and everything. Okay, are you ready? Welcome back. Leader Data Training Program Examination Tips and Tricks for ISO 27001 2022. So, basic how we are going to see the preparation activities as for this examination. Okay, so first of all, we should understand what is 27001. It talks about like ISO IEC, that is International Electrotechnical Commission 27001, Information Security Management Systems, Training and then Certifications. So we are going to see like information is the valuable assets and the key to growth of any organization. If sensitive information is compromised, so then an organization may have to face the various threats and risks like brand image erosions, uh, business disruptions, financial and then productivity loss. You can protect the business critical information so from your wide range of threats with ISO 27001 ISMS certification. In order to ensure the business continuity, minimize business risk, maximize return on investment and increase business opportunity. So these are all the areas we have the beautiful opportunities of focusing ISEM, yes, 27001 ISO category. Okay, next what we will understand is what is ISO 27001 information security management system? ISO IEC 27001 is the international standards for information security. It sets out of uh, out the information out the specifications for an effective ISMS information security uh, management system. ISO 27001 best practice approaches helps organization manage their information security by addressing people, processes, and technology. Certifications to the ISO 27001 standards is recognized the worldwide to indicate so that your ISMS is aligned with information security best practices. Part of ISO 27001. Uh, series is especially ISO 27001 sets out the framework for organization to establish, implement, operate, monitor, review, maintain and continually improve an ISMS. So that is the overlook of the ISMS first of all 27001 as far as the ISO background is concerned. Now let's talk about how the examination is supposed to be. But you please understand my dear friends like we wrote a training program on information security that is cyber security and then private protection based on ISO IEC 27001-2022. So I have taken examples of from TV like you people can understand so how if any agency if you are approaching <coughs> for the um, examination or maybe we wrote a training program so that will be helpful for you. So we are going to see the TUV how like they are doing this activity so face to face training program so it will be going for next five days. Uh, so then intermediate levels as we have so we can able to have a lot of discussion over there and then virtual classroom so most of the areas after corona like people are going for only virtual classroom which uh, hybrid is also there but it is very very useful for you to go for virtual uh, classroom you get lot of benefits like we have open book examination you will get lot of notes supports and everything so the thing is that once you go for virtual classroom it will be helpful for you International accepted CQI IRCA approved ISO IEC 27001-2022 layout of training certificate deep insights into ISO IEC 27001-2022 international standard requirements basic understanding of audit process to conduct activities based on ISO 19011 I hope you understand 2018 that is the guiding principles of the lead auditors how you supposed to be like you know the talking about seven major principles so you need to be very conscious about to be the uh, auditors so in, in, in as far as auditor is concerned we supposed to have the kind of uh, ability to focus on particular uh, in this 19,000 level so that is the guiding principles we have and then fundamental in understanding on the standard requirements of other risk assessment and the treatment process aligned with ISO 31,000 31,000 talks about my dear friends is risk assessment and then management so if you want to have some kind of a risk potential uh, upgradations of your knowledge towards to the risk identifying the potential risk uh, so in the background of cyber security or maybe the data uh, safety secure manner everything put together you can also go for this certification course 
it will be really helpful for further your upgradation exposure to the mandatory documentation requirements introduction to the role and responsibilities of auditors and directors networking opportunities with peers from the variety background that is a very really important things like once you get lot of friends it will be really helpful for your future connection as well as your real time upgradations and then information sharing okay let's see what is the examination and then certificate since we have uh, seen the examples from tv i will get to go through the tv so as an approved training partners of cqi irka and fulfills all compliances of the course ismas has ho iec that is 2001 2020 data holding training courses participants course course 70 persons and above in continuous assessment plus 50 percent overall in each domain so in final written examination so will be issued there cqi irka accredited certificate unless otherwise if you not touching those kind of areas 70 percent as well as the 50 percent overall each domain like we have it is very very difficult for you to take next level of certificate yes of course you will get one more chance to write the examination but if that also fail in the sense you have to go for again training program and then rewriting the examination okay and your friends successful completion of the courses which is the renowned certification and then carries the worldwide acceptance and successful candidates will be issued a certificate of attendance that's all so the meaning we have my dear friends if you are not able to understand what is meant by certificate what is the importance of certificate the description is available below please understand in this world without certificate none of the organization none of your buddies will never believe you at all even though you have a beautiful experience you need to have you you supposed to be the celebrities to address most of the areas as most of the medias then only people will understand about your potential as well as your capable to uh, attack that, that that domain especially if we have a certificate then the world will believe you okay so final examination will be conducted online so by cqi irka and then please find the exam so framework for a cqi irka lead auditor training course as below how examination certification the examination will go for 1 hour 45 minutes generally it will take 2 hours 15 minutes will be the buffer time so for uh, giving instructions so from the uh, you know uh, assessor so then they will make you to understand about how things supposed to be for for example like 5 days nobody like you know fifth day will be the examination finally then they will say conclude concluding the marks like uh, who are all passed the examination but it will take some time because they don't declare uh, on the fifth day itself so nobody a is dominating like anything examination results will be declared uh, within a day or on the spot itself but fourth day evening or maybe fourth day uh, based on the conclusions of the i have assessor as well as the trainer so then you can be able to go for mock examination total number of items as well as question 40 questions they will ask you okay maximum available ltv house so learner must achieve the minimum passing mark for each domain for example a b c d so each domain will be asked to different type of question so all the domains like a b c d have to score for minimum 40 marks which is 50% of the contribution supposed to be there then only it will be accepted for you to take it up to the next level uh, you you cannot say like you know i have done a b c d is not done or i have done a b is missed c d it is not at all accepted you have to answer for all the domains like a b c d 50 percentage you supposed to address those kind of question it is a open book exam only learner can access relevant iso standard during exam electronics or paper copy permitted my dear my dear buddies please understand like if you go for virtual examination it will be useful for you i hope you understand like what i mean okay you have manual you have your notes you have on a mobile also so it will be comfortable for you but the thing is that to be the genuine manner for writing the examination be prepared enough to answer all the questions so be prepared like you know you you are you have a beautiful notes with you so go for it and then you can go go to that particular area and then uh, you can uh, get that information all those kind of things as and be ready for the examination so genuinely you can go for writing the examination 100% sure you can beautifully clear the examination with these upcoming videos as and then beautiful uh, examination tips and tricks so let's see how course outline supposed to be ISMS concept and ISO IEC 2001 standard so ism's concept and benefits we have so in this especially this topic talks about risk assessment and then management 2001 standard and requirements and then documentations also we have okay as far as the auditing concept is concerned 
we have audit objectives and then auditing principles type of audits uh, audit methods audit process also we have now next one is the roles responsibilities of the competencies of auditors auditors is under the lead auditors responsibility competency of the auditors auditors qualification and certification auditor evaluations method so that is one of the main area as far as the course outline is concerned fourth point is planning and audit so what we supposed to do that pre audit planning reviewing documentations developing an audit plan preparing checklist so or working documents communication factors all those kind of things coming under the umbrella of planning and audit fifth one conducting an audit opening meeting effective interviewing techniques collecting and verifying objectives for that audit evidence identifying and recording non conformities closing meeting do's and don'ts of auditing so these are all the things those who are in the background of iso they are very very close to those area reporting and then audit results like preparing the audit report distributing the audit reports that's all that is coming in the uh, sixth point is uh, reporting and the seventh point what we are going to see is the follow up action follow up actions of an audit corrective actions of reporting follow up scheduling monitoring corrective action so those things will come in the follow up actions okay now in the category of eight is cqi irca certification is registration process we have and then the code of conduct we have finally we'll go for writing the examination that is online we are going so please 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 go for online examination my dear but is please understand because you will get lot of facilities you have in front of your manual you have standards you have your notes including your uh, quick reference um, uh, papers or you know some kind of uh, 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 cutlet uh, purses and then everything is available so you can refer a lot simple simple examples of simple understanding so those kind of things as you can paste it in front of your uh, um, a laptop top area like during examination it will be helpful for you so you can write this examination hopefully holistically genuinely and honestly okay next who will attend this exam who supposed to attend this examination who can be able to go for this examination you have some uh, or maybe some um, confusion like whether i can go for this examination those who are in the background of like the chief information security officer information security practitioner head it and then consultant so in the background of handling security management systems of information and then representative and then security manager core group members are responsible for establishing like implementing maintaining and then improving information security management system professional such who have a role to play in the auditing of isms that is those are all the people coming under the attending of isms certification course so if you are the background of it database management hardcore and then soft area uh, especially you can able to go for this examination very nice examination very beautiful examination if you are eligible for this examination please go for it write the examination then you can plan for cyber security also that will be really helpful for you handling it department it will be really capable for you to address all those kind of things as forever okay now what is the benefits now coming under the beautiful area like benefits to you if you study this iso 2701 training and certification services equip the knowledge and skills to prepare conduct report and follow first and second and third party audit information security management system first party audit within your boundary second party audit is like you can able to take it up to the next supplier level you can go there and then you can audit finalize all those kind of thing you can control third party audit is you are eligible to go for audit to any oem or any uh, agencies as and concluding those kind of things as and going for this certification so that is very, very important with that party audit is concerned now overview of iso 2001 including its evaluation iscm as per principles is a key component key concept structures and more gain insights into how you can improve your organization iscm as performance with the intent to keep the crucial information assets secure to understand the principles and then practices of auditing learning through the case studies and then exercise so those are all the things as very important my dear buddies please understand benefits to you it's very lot okay in the nutshell so what we can see the benefits of 27001 lead auditor certification course standards from the ground that is a really important thing because certification once you have it you will be given a simple and then you know uh, a very honest priority so in front of your management because since you have a lot of certification that is also one of the areas you have a concept of a data security you have a lot of uh, 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 the background of like you know certification of a lead 
the auditor like anybody can able to assess you and then ask for in case of any data security secured way of analyzing the data which is not going to the next stranger level so those kind of things is very very very, very important for you globally like accreditation certificates yes of course you have a tv certificate other agency certificate also we have those are very very recognizable and then you will get lot of benefits also <coughs> increment salary potential so once you get the certificate please go and show to your management then you are capable to go for auditing and other kind of things like that so you can plan for second party audit so those who are the vendor for you so taking care of your database management storage uh, and then transformations or security um, information so those kind of you can audit and get to touch with all the agencies you will get lot of benefits for this handling challenging projects yes of course beautiful things as you could have so upgrade your leadership skill that is a very important area like keep study and then make sure that you are capable to handle a very best level rather than your top management what expecting to take care of our say people so if you are the critical resource and doing such kind of things the management will call you they will book a call you so they will assign you to go for auditing all those kind of things and make sure that the things are proper better job opportunities as a audit proficiency we have expertise in information security expert is missing as far as the as on uh, today uh, our status is concerned our uh, statistics is concerned expert because all people are in the common baskets we have so experts means those who are specialized in so those who can able to capable to handle only that particular type of works or maybe the a uh, particular area so those who are very very important to handle that kind of issue so now the society as well as the corporate is looking for the same people it is not like if i know the information yes all people will rise that i know that information also that is the first basket so second basket is a specific skill that critical resources so if you study this kind of certification course you will be in the second basket to address to your management that i am capable to handle the security of the data so those are all the benefits we have my dear friends lead auditor certification course in the iso 27001 okay now yes of course all the areas we have pdca pdca is always there so p it talks about plan we have context issue policy and objectives do what it talks about support operation control and the risk it talks about so check what it talks about like management review internal audit performance and then continual improvement corrective action non conformities is coming under the act category that is the pdc so all iso standards we have uh, pdc concept so those will explain you a lot okay now please understand the four level of document generally it talks about first level one talks about security manual so like policy scope risk assessment soe will come under this picture level 2 document it talks about describe processes so who what when and where that is a procedures if you have a pakka procedure in the sense like it will be really helpful for you to make sure that the things are in a proper way level 3 document describes how task and specific activities is are done work instruction checklist of forms and etc so those are all the areas in level 3 whereas level 4 talks about provides objective evidence of compliance to ISMS requirement that is a very very important thing talks about records so once the auditor is coming to your area if you have the objective evidence it talks about records level 4 document you supposed to show them that is a very important thing so please learn my dear friends so what are all the level 4 documents you have level 1 2 and then level 3 so those who are going to become lead auditor those who already having a good experience in the background of a lead auditor it may be 9 9k 14k 45k 27000k is also okay you need to have this knowledge of level 4 documents okay my dear friends so finally let's learn and level up ourselves and let us help and support others so without pain there is no gain i hope you like this video so please give your valuable comments so that i can also level up myself so and share to your beloved ones so thank you very much and thanks for watching